Thank you for joining us for an overview of the 21 model year Hino truck lineup. Hino's 21 model year trucks continue our commitment to quality, durability, and reliability. Hino Trucks has an extensive footprint in the United States, which includes our headquarters in the Detroit suburb of Novi, Michigan. This combines our sales, service, and parts operations with engineering and manufacturing. We have two training centers for service, parts, and sales, one at our Novi headquarters and another at our Ontario, California, Western U.S. Parts Distribution Center. Hino has three plants. Our Mineral Wells West Virginia plant assembles all conventional chassis sold in the United States. Our Marion, Arkansas manufacturing plant makes the frames for our conventional chassis. In addition to axles, differentials, and steering components for the Toyota Tundra and Sequoia models. Hino's Ontario, California manufacturing facility makes axles, differentials, and steering components for the Toyota Tacoma. Our two parts distribution centers are strategically located to serve our dealers. The national PDC is in South Haven, Mississippi, just south of Memphis, Tennessee. And our western PDC is in Ontario, California, which is an hour east of Los Angeles. Hino has over 1,270 U.S. team members and in combination with our 240 dealers, Hino provides excellent coverage throughout the United States. This is a picture of our Novi, Michigan headquarters, where currently 200 plus team members work. And this is our 1 million square foot assembly operation in the northern West Virginia town of Mineral Wells, where currently 475 plus team members work. Hino Trucks' 21 model year line stretches from class 4 to class 8 and now we'll provide some details on each class. Hello, I'd like to take a few minutes to review the 2021 model year updates on the Hino L series. Let's start with the exterior, which includes a new grill design, an option for LED headlights, a lower air spoiler, and new wheelbase options. One of the bigger changes was the addition of the extended cab and the crew cab configurations. We've also added a new option for safety systems, which include active cruise control, with collision mitigation, lane departure warning, and stability control. And an all new interior carried over from the Hino Excel series. Let's take a look at the new optional cab lengths. We have the 30 inch extended cab and the 44.8 inch crew cab, which includes four door access. Here's a nice look at the new L-Series grille, which has a bolder look to it. As mentioned, we've added an option for LED headlights and also an option for a lower spoiler located under the bumper. Another change made for the 2021 model year is the relocation of the windshield washer tank. It used to be located under the passenger side seat but has been relocated to under the hood, tucked behind the air filter canister, providing for easier access. We also increased the capacity of the tank from 4 liters to 4.8 liters. This is the same system used in the Excel series. Another change is the improved design of the bubble separator in the fuel system. The new bubble separator is much more accessible and the filter can be replaced by removing the cap with a general tool. One of the most obvious changes in the newly designed K2 
cab interior, we move the automatic transmission shifter from the tower between the driver and the passenger seats to a dash mounted setup. We also added steering wheel controls for information display, cruise settings, and an air horn allowing the driver to keep his hands on the wheel. Other additions include a 7 inch large display in the gauge cluster, two fast charging 2.1 amp USB ports, versatile DIN storage, option for up to four cup holders, and increased legroom. All with the goal of improving driver comfort and safety and increased driver retention. And finally, we enhance the driver's seat belt sensor system, which we'll detail in a moment. Here's a look at the new gauge cluster that has the same design as the XL series with some additional features. I mentioned the new driver seat belt reminder. Here's a closer look at it. It's a four step system that sounds when the seat belt is not worn and alerts by lighting and flashing or blinking indicator lights. Let's take a look at the Hino Advantage. Let's start with frame specs. Hino utilizes the ladder type C channel design with 34 inch wide rails that meet the industry standard. Hino also powder coats the frame rails, which is a much stronger finish than painting. It lasts longer and better protects against corrosion caused by road salt and other road elements. 80,000 PSA yield strength is standard on the Hino L-Series trucks and includes an RBM rating of 1,031,900. The Hino J08E engines are brought to the United States completely assembled and ready for installation at our assembly plant in Mineral Wells, West Virginia. With a B50 life of 500,000 miles, they meet and exceed the customer's demands for reliability, durability, and longevity. A closer look at the engine spec specification shows that the L6 model is standard with a J08E WU engine, which produces 230 horsepower at 2,500 RPMs and 520 pound-feet of torque at 1,500 RPMs. The L6 is also available for the, with the higher horsepower J08E VB engine, which is rated at 260 horsepower at 2,500 RPMs and 660 pound-feet of torque at 1,500 RPMs. The L7 is standard with a J08E VB engine, which is rated at 260 horsepower at 2,500 RPMs and 660 pound-feet of torque at 1,500 RPMs. Both models include a maximum engine speed of 2,600 RPMs and 4.015 gallon oil capacity or 15.2 liters. The L6 is standard with an Allison 2200 HS transmission, but can be optioned to a 2200 RDS, an Allison 2500 RDS, or an Allison 2500 HS. Manual transmissions are available as well on the L6 in an Eaton 6-speed FS5406A model. The L7 is standard with an Allison 2500 RDS transmission. It can be optioned to an Allison 3000 series RDS or a 3500 RDS. And also, the L7 is available with an Eaton manual transmission six-speed FS6406A model. Let's take a look at some of the engine features. The high-pressure common rail fuel injection system helps atomize the fuel entering the engine, creating greater fuel economy and a clean burn of the fuel. 
The driver-controlled exhaust brake saves wear and tear on the brakes and components for increased profitability, and it's standard on the Hina. The Davco 243 Diesel Pro heated fuel filter and water separator is standard on the Hino and can filter out particles down to 7 microns, keeping the fuel clean and flowing. Interior cab features, all of which are standard on the L-Series, include Bluetooth AM FM CD player, USB and AUX ports, air conditioning, tilt and telescopic steering wheel, air suspension driver's seat, cruise control, covered overhead compartments, which include doors, and door pockets both on the driver and passenger sides. The new driver information display is another way Hino is helping the customer save time and money. With features like instant trip fuel economy, DPR DEF system status and performance, programmable maintenance intervals, and vehicle engine diagnostics, the driver will know when service is needed along with other vital information. Competitors like International don't even offer such sophisticated driver information displays. When Hino transitioned from the cab over to the conventional trucks, one of the biggest changes made was a switch to American source components. Components such as Allison transmissions, Meritor axles and brakes, Dana Spicer driveline, Hendrickson suspension systems, both air ride and spring ride, Alcoa aluminum wheels, and Bridgestone tires. All of these are trusted names in the industry and readily available. The result is decreased downtime for the customer. Another advantage of American source components is technician familiarity with these components. Chances are they've been working on these components for quite some time and are comfortable doing so. As a result, their comfort level will be high and will also shorten the learning curve for working on Hino trucks. That concludes the 2021 L-Series product updates. Thank you. Hello, and welcome to the 2021 XL Series portion of today's presentation. For the 21 model year, XL offers the same extended cab and crew cab options as L Series. The longer cabs are great for anyone that needs to transport a small crew or perhaps a customer that would like to protect something too valuable or delicate to be stored outside the cab. We also offer XL8 as a tractor for users such as moving companies. Bullet point two speaks to our CAN line body communications. CAN is an acronym for Control Area Network. This is common for both L Series and XL for 2021. It is located under the dashboard and among other things, serves as a message center from the truck and a tie in for outside connections. Bullet point three informs that adaptive cruise control has been added to XL's active safety systems and will be addressed later in this presentation. XL comes standard with an hour meter. In many municipalities, hours, not miles, are the measure for maintenance due. Though the snowplow package for XL is not yet available, our engineers are hard at work on it, hopefully next year, we wanted to give you a brief look at what we envision for the future. As the slide indicates, we intend to offer an 18,000 pound at front axle. An 18 uses larger tires and much more than just a 2,000 pound weight rating increase over our current 16,000 pound axle. An 18 has additional assist components designed to help steer and support heavy items such as a snowplow. When available, it should be noted that our front frame extension will be on original frame rail, not bolted or riveted on, as some competitors do, and not acceptable to many users. This slide offers a preview of many of the components that we anticipate being included in our snowplow package. While packaging these items together will be a great help, XL often requires more input from the person specking the truck. For example, knowing that snowplows frequently operate at night in bitter cold blizzard conditions, consider the demand on the truck's electrical system with a heater, wipers, and numerous bright lights all being used at the same time. And then consider upgrading batteries, an alternator, adding mud and snow tires, perhaps a diff lock. Then carry that thought process with you to every XL you spec. 
Think of yourself as a tailor making a suit of clothes. Make it fit perfectly for that customer. Shown here is an XL tow truck that has been displayed at several national truck shows. All day and at every show, there were people climbing in and out of it, nearly every one nodding their heads in approval as they walked away. In any configuration, this truck is a winner. Please take the time to study XL and become comfortable with its many new options and the opportunities XL will bring. We would like this slide to clarify that any XL8 33,000 GVW and under is an XL7, and that any XL33,001 GVW and over is an XL8. Another point to be shared here is that a few folks have spec'd XL7s as tractors, believing because it is a 33,000 GVW vehicle that they can avoid paying federal excise tax. There may be few exceptions to this, but they are outside the scope of this communication and should first be approved by dealership management. The general rule is if it has a fifth wheel and is performing a tractor, FET must be paid. XL has a larger Hino H emblem as well as a new grill. LED headlights are standard equipment on XL models. Circled as a look-down mirror. Many highway tractors are spec with them to see vehicles that may be close beside them. Though XL has its own unique hooded 9-liter engine, it does share the same cab with L-Series. Thus, this mirror can be ordered on 21 model year L-Series also. These photos do a nice job showing off XL's aerodynamic qualities. The photo at lower right shows XL with a steel chrome front bumper. All XLs, other than extended cabs or crew cabs, are equipped with air ride cabs as standard equipment. Though it has been discussed in the L series portion of this presentation, it bears repeating that XL has a separate intimate cluster from L series with several unique features as shown on the chart. As you have seen previously, L-Series and XL share our new interior and its many new features. Major components are positioned close to the driver. We offer industry-leading dash storage and four cup holders. XL's enhanced dash design allows for more legroom. Also shown here is a good look at the difference between our standard push-button shifter and our optional T-handle shifter. Let's take a look at some of XL's key specifications and components. XL comes with Hino's 9-liter engine. While new to this market, this engine is well established and respected in many parts of the world. The 9-liter is offered in 3 horsepower configurations, 300, 330, and 360. Always be able to justify why you select the particular engine as prices do increase noticeably with each horsepower upgrade. As you saw earlier, 8-liter engines are rated on a B50 life of 500,000 miles. 9-liter engines are rated similarly, but for 9-liters, it is called B10 life, and the Hino is rated at a, thousand, a million miles, beg your pardon. It is important to know that just as the L-Series J08 engine has replaceable cylinder liners, the 9-liter does also. Please know that the 9-liter oil pan is cast aluminum. Your customers will appreciate and understand the value of both. Allison Transmissions imposes strict limits on the allowable torque for their transmissions. The 3500 RDS is limited to 1,000 foot-pounds of torque, which has the effect of not being approved for our 330 and 360 9-liter engines. Our competitors face the same issues. The 3000 HS is the automatic transmission in our XL single-axle tractor. It should also be noted that all Allison Transmissions in a Hino from the 2020 model year forward carry a 5-year unlimited warranty. Though Hino offers similar proprietary parts in other parts of the world, we use well-respected domestic parts in this market. Knowing you likely have them on your part shelves, have the tools to install them, and your technicians the product knowledge to perform the repair quickly the first time around provides our customers with peace of mind. As stated on the previous slide, by pairing up with some of the biggest names in the trucking industry, Hino offers strength and longevity. Hino also uses brands customers have grown to know and to trust. Please review the available basic specifications for XL straight trucks as well as tractors. Gear ratios are of particular note with XL. You may discover that after reviewing your customer's travel routes, 
you may find yourselves utilizing more optional gear ratios than with previous Hino models. This is a, a reminder to review our many new way wheelbase offerings for XL. We offer several new longer wheelbases you may be unfamiliar with. Please be aware that there are some limitations on extended cab and crew cab wheelbases. We want to take this moment to remind you that the wheelbase modifications are not recommended with vehicles ordered with safety suite equipment and will be adjusted elsewhere today. This slide assumes that most are comfortable with base Hino warranties as shown here, but it does bear repeating that there are two reasons a manufacturer provides a great warranty, either because they have to or because they can. Believing in your product and standing behind it are two different things. We not only believe in our trucks, we stand behind them with comprehensive warranties and extended warranties that give any customer the peace of mind to know these trucks were meant to last for the long haul. As was discussed elsewhere, XLs also come with our great Hino Watch program. Thank you. Good day, and welcome to the presentation of Hino's M Series product update. Today, we will cover the 21 model year changes, as well as highlight some of the features, benefits, and advantages of Hino M4 and M5 trucks. As I mentioned before, today's topic is M4 and M5 model Hino trucks. Our M4 was formerly known as a 155. Our old 195 truck is now referred to as a M5. Note that the M4 and M5 titles refer to the vehicle's weight class of Class 4 and Class 5, respectively. In addition to new product nomenclature, our new M4 and M5 models come equipped with a new, more bold grille design, as well as an option for LED headlights. Our Class 4 and Class 5 trucks offer many advantages over its top competitors, which include products from Mitsubishi Fuso, Isuzu NPR and NRR, and many American manufacturers to include Dodge and Ford products. Shifting now to the interior of the trucks. Radio controls, cruise control operation, and several others have been integrated into the steering wheel technology. These multifunction steering wheels improve driving safety by putting the most commonly used controls in one of the most convenient places possible, right at the driver's fingertips. A driver's eyes and hands are extremely important tools for driving. Keeping your eyes on the road and hands on the wheel can increase auto safety for everyone. Our new information display for M-Series trucks is larger at 4.2 inches than was on the previous models. With pertinent information like current fuel consumption, cruise control setting, and DPR gauge to assist the driver in correct and safe operation of the vehicles. Also new on the M-Series trucks is a hold button allowing the driver to lock the vehicle into a particular gear to aid in climbing a hill or a steep grade. Now on to Hino trucks features, benefits, and advantages. The new Hino cab overs have several wheelbases to choose from to fit various customers' needs and vocations. The COE frames have a yield strength of 56,900 PSI and up to 423,050 pounds in resisting bending moment. The 33-inch frame rail is industry standard and should make for a simple body swap off an Isuzu, Ford, or other competitor's chassis. With wheelbases ranging from 114 inches all the way up to 215 inches, the Hino COE has plenty of options for upfitting. The cost of moving a 173 inch wheelbase to either a 197 or 215 inch wheelbase is currently $3,500. Single cab M5s can take up to a 24 foot body on a 215 inch wheelbase. 
The Hino J05E series engine produces 210 horsepower and 440 pounds of torque. Engineered to maximize performance and fuel economy, the J05 has a B50 rating on the engine of 400,000 miles. This is a dry sleeved engine, standard exhaust brake, electric pneumatic with valve and exhaust pipe, driver controlled on and off switch with steering column stock. Combining high pressure common rail fuel injection, variable geometry turbocharger design, and cooled EGR with selective catalytic reduction for emission control allows us to optimize the air fuel mixture across the entire speed range of our engines. The result is a fuel efficient compliance with 2010 EPA regulations. All Hino cab over models are equipped with an ISN A465 HD six-speed automatic transmission with PTO capabilities. The ISN transmission is a standard on all of our COEs and ISN is a leader in the industry with over 40 years of experience in manufacturing durable quality transmissions. Here we have a list of some standard features on our Hino cab over trucks that other competitors offer as an option on theirs. To meet the needs of drivers anywhere in the world, we maximize cab space to accommodate drivers from around 4 foot 8 to over 6 foot 6. Doors open wide, there is ample footroom with the seat and steering column have increased adjustability. Interior utilities are also redesigned, with a large tray in front of the instrument panel, cup holders big enough for even extra large cups. Optional 33 gallon fuel tanks are available on 138 inch wheelbases and longer. The 55 gallon aluminum side mount tank will give the trucks greater capacity to meet customer needs along with allow other applications to benefit from a larger side mount tank. To provide the 55 gallon tank, the truck must be ordered with the optional 33 gallon side mount tank that will be removed and changed to the 55 gallon aluminum tank. This option is available for purchase. Next, I will talk about Hino Trucks warranty for the M-Series product. Backed by one of the best warranties in the business, Hino proves their trucks have what it takes for years to come. The basic vehicle warranty is 36 months and unlimited mileage, along with an extended engine vehicle warranty of five years, 200,000 miles. Hino stands by the cab over product for years of carefree use. Hino continues to stand by their products with the industry's new best extended warranty coverage. The new extended warranty now covers engine and rear differentials for up to seven years, 200,000 miles, along with purchasable extended warranties for the cab over after treatment system. Hino proves that they have the best back trucks in the U.S. Moving on to Hino Care service plans. Hino Care is Hino Trucks preventative service care program for the COE, M4, and M5 diesel trucks. The two-year or 60,000 mile maintenance program is standard on all new cab overs. Services are rendered at 12,000 miles or six month intervals, depending on the customer's needs. It is important to note that HinoCare is a more comprehensive program than that of our competitor's oil change only program. Replacements include engine oil, fuel filter, air filter, transmission fluid, and differential oil. In addition to these replacements, checks are made on steering, brake pad, battery terminal, wheel, gauges, warning lights, mirrors, wipers, engine belt, and air intake systems. Listed here are the benefits that Hino Care provides the customer and the dealer. It is important to note that sellable Hino Care extensions are available on all of Hino's product lineup. Finally, Hino Watch is available on all Hino trucks including the M series models. Hino Watch is available to the customer for three years, unlimited miles. Some of the services offered are lockout assistance, battery jump start, towing for two years, 
as well as general information. Beginning with the 2017 model year, Hino Truck stepped to the forefront in connected vehicle technologies with our industry-leading Insight platform. Designed to provide fleets with real-time vehicle telematics, remote diagnostics, and case management, Insight allows operators remote access to their Hino trucks at all times. And now, with the all-new L, XL, and M series, Hino once again steps to the forefront with industry-leading active vehicle safety systems. When we talk about active safety systems, what do we mean? Unlike passive features, which are designed to protect occupants once a collision has occurred, active systems are engaged pre-collision to alert the driver of an impending incident. These systems are designed to give the driver time to react pre-collision or in the event of an unavoidable collision to activate automatically in order to mitigate and reduce the severity of the incident. Hino's safety options for both the L and XL series include forward collision mitigation, adaptive cruise control, lane departure warning, and electronic vehicle stability control. Note that electronic stability control and disc brakes are standard features on Hino XL series tractors. Before reviewing these safety systems, it is important to note that any trucks equipped with anti-lock brake systems or vehicle stability control should not undergo wheelbase modifications or changes in wheel or tire size. Any changes in the wheelbase and or tires may result in a malfunction to the ABS, vehicle stability control, electronic control unit, as the ECU is pre-programmed based upon the original vehicle setup. The speed detector located within the ECU will indicate a different speed from actual speed if changes are made. Hino's collision mitigation system is controlled by a radar sensor located at the front of the truck mounted in the center of the bumper. Collision mitigation monitors the area in front of the truck as it measures distance between the equipped vehicle and any vehicles detected in front of it. In the event of a rapid reduction in length between the two vehicles, the driver will receive a series of audible and visual alerts to begin immediate braking. If the driver fails to brake in a timely manner, the collision mitigation system will actively brake the truck to mitigate the impending collision. Note that the system is not designed to prevent a collision, but will assist in mitigating the severity of that collision. Adaptive cruise control is also a component of the collision mitigation system. Adaptive Cruise allows the driver of the equipped truck to set a cruising speed. The radar sensor controls the sp truck speed based upon sensing a vehicle in front of the truck and then performs a calculation of that vehicle's speed as the gap between the two vehicles narrows. As an example, the driver of the Hino truck sets their cruising speed to 70 miles per hour. Adaptive Cruise detects a vehicle immediately in front of the truck traveling at 68 miles per hour. Adaptive Cruise will automatically adjust the Hino truck's cruise speed to 68 miles per hour in order to maintain a safe distance between the two vehicles. If either vehicle changes lanes, the cruise speed of the Hino truck will automatically readjust to 70 miles per hour so long as no other vehicles are detected immediately in front of it. Available as part of the optional safety suite offered on the L and XL series, and as a standalone option feature, feature available on the M series, the lane departure warning system is designed to alert the driver of a Hino truck as a truck begins to depart its lane without the turn signal being activated. If the lane departure warning system detects an unintended lane departure, which is monitored by an image sensor located in behind the center of the windshield, audible and visual warnings are activated. Note that the system is activated only at speeds above 37 miles per hour and when the external edge of the tire crosses over the lane divider by more than 0.3 meters. When the turn signal is engaged, the lane departure warning system is over overridden and will not activate. It is important to note that while providing both audible and visual warnings to the driver of the unintended lane departure, the truck will not actively correct itself back into its lane. This remains the responsibility of the driver. 
While standard on the XL series, LED headlights are an option for the Hino L and M series models. For the L series, included in the bezel are low and high beam LED lamps, as well as an attractive LED light pipe that outlines the bezel. The low beam LEDs also serve as daytime running lights with the same brightness as the low beam. When the DRLs are in operation, the rear combination lights are also on for added visibility. When it comes to safety, LED lights provide a brighter, clearer, more focused beam than standard headlights, helping drivers stay focused at night. Additional benefits include increased efficiency, longer life, and an attractive appearance. This slide shows the optional LED headlight package for the Hino M series. Refer to Hino Spec X for optional pricing on the LED light options. We will now move our attention to Hino Insight. Beginning with the 2017 model year, Hino is the first truck OEM to provide telematics, remote diagnostics, and case management as standard. Insight telematics is included at no charge to the customer for the first year after purchase. As a Hino sales trucks professional, you may sell two and four year extended service options to the customer at a cost less than what they would pay the provider directly. Insight remote diagnostics and case management are included at no charge to the customer for the first five years after purchase. For fleets operating Hino trucks older than the 2017 model year, Hino Insight retrofit kits are available through Hino Parts and can be upfitted on the Hino trucks 2013 model year and newer. As this chart indicates, Hino continuously monitors the truck every two minutes with real-time status updates. A few key Insight operations include Vehicle Location Fleet operators can track their trucks at all times with vehicle location. They can see when the truck is moving and at what speed and can set up alerts for events such as excessive speeding or hard braking to monitor the driver's performance remotely. Real-time alerts and instant diagnostic trouble code notifications. Fleet operators can get real-time insight alerts on their Hino trucks. These alerts are customizable by the fleet manager so they are able to control what they want to see. In addition, insight diagnostic trouble code notifications will be sent to the fleet manager anytime the check engine light is activated. These codes will provide the fleet with a severity level for each alert, yellow, informational, orange, moderate, red, critical. In addition, the fleet will receive notification as to the location of the nearest Hino dealer and upon acceptance by the customer, will notify that dealer to expect the truck in for repairs. The system can also check the dealer's parts inventory for the parts necessary to complete the repairs. This feature is designed to get the truck in and out of the repair shop as quickly as possible and to reduce the customer's downtime to an absolute minimum. One of the most valuable features in Insight is regeneration reporting. As we all know, when a driver reports a regen, the DPF does not have an opportunity to clean itself properly. If done too many times, this will result in a plug DPF, which is a costly repair. With Insight, the fleet manager has the ability to be notified every time a driver aborts a regen. And once the soot level in the DPF reaches a predetermined level, a notification is sent to conduct a manual regen. These alerts can save the fleet costly repairs. It should be noted that while the competition is able to track aborted regens, the customer can only retrieve this information by bringing the truck into the servicing dealer's shop and having a report run after the truck is connected to a computer. Many times, this occurs after the DPF has been plugged. Would you rather tell your customers that their costly repair is because the driver aborted regens or provide real-time reporting so they can address the issue before the failure occurs. As we conclude the Hino 2021 model year updates presentation, I would like to close with a slide that provides you with a customer view of Hino Insight. In addition to providing location data, the fleet manager is able to see whether the vehicle is in motion and at what speed or stopped and for how long. Additional data, including vehicle operations such as fuel level, DEF level, coolant temperature, battery volt meter, 
and many other operations are viewable to the manager real time. The bottom of the screen shows recent historical data for the vehicle and allows the fleet manager to track the vehicle's operations throughout the day, week, month, or year. I would like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video and to thank all of the presenters for their participation. I hope that you find this information valuable, and as always, please feel free to reach out to your respective Hino District Sales Manager or Regional Vice President with any questions you may have. We appreciate all you do for Hino.